Hello guys, how are you doing? Thank you so much for being here today. Um, today, um, finally I have some time before the coaching begins where I can um, stream. And today I want to try something different. Um, today is Friday, so we will be doing viewer battles as I promised. Um, I will try to do viewer battles in English and in Spanish on Fridays and Saturdays if I'm streaming. Um, it might vary, but um, yeah, that's the plan. And so I don't know if any of you guys remember the TCG Pokedex series, which um, it's been a while since I uploaded a video for that series where we go in Pokedex order and we try to build decks with um, the next evolution line in the Pokedex. So last time around, I believe, um, or the last Pokemon we did was Golem, where I tried on a lowland Golem deck, which was not too successful. So the next in line is the Ponyta and Rapidash evolution line. Afterwards is Slowbro and Slope, uh, Slowpoke and Slowbro. And then afterwards we have Magnemite, Magneton and Magneton. So I prepared three decks today um, with um, the best cards and the best ideas that I could come up with for both of those um, cards or for all of those cards and that's what I'll be using today against you guys so today are today are viewer battles if you want to battle me um, send me a friend request right now don't send me a challenge yet but send me the friend request so that I can accept you guys and that way um, we can get started with um, with the battles and yeah, I'm gonna be playing probably two or one or two games with each deck depending on how fast or how um, quick they go by. So yeah, that's gonna be today's um, today's theme. So Soups Toops, thank you so much for being here. GD, hello. Uh, Wendigo, everything good, how are you? Um, Mareta, thanks so much for being here. Waxak, thanks so much for being here. Teresa as well, Ugo Walk. Hello, and Silvala Gaming, what's up? Man Eater, thank you so much for being here, guys. And so, yeah, if you guys want to send me friend requests, and if you guys want to play against me and against these decks that I've prepared for today, um, feel free to do so. Um, how viewer battles usually work is um, you guys just send me challenges. Um, I play um, only once against each person. Um, but yeah, it's basically first come, um, first served so if you wanna challenge me you send the challenge and then whoever pops up first I accept and that's the person I play against yeah so I guess from this point onwards um, I will start with a Ponyta deck so if you guys wanna use meta decks uh, feel free um, these are all built for standard but if you wanna use like quirky decks or uh, rogue ideas that you have that would be pretty cool as well so that um, So that the matches are a little bit more even because these decks probably don't stand a very good chance against the meta decks But um, they're more for fun So yeah, if you guys wanna Wanna go ahead and send me challenges now otherwise we can just jump into a ladder and see and see what happens there uh, But thank you so much to all the new followers. Welcome. I hope you enjoy your time here. And what do I think of the Lucario GX Ugo Ugo Quok? Um, it looks pretty decent. Um, it has the same theme as Golisopet, I guess, uh, but definitely worse. Like you wouldn't be, want to be playing Devil Spray just to hit for 120. Um, but yeah, I mean, it seems like an okay deck for sure. Hello, Pokemon and wife. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you guys so much and so if nobody wants to play right now um i mean either send me a challenge or send me a friend request so that i can accept you and then send me the challenge um otherwise i can start by jumping onto a ladder and finding finding a match there i mean both both ways um are okay with me yeah both ways are okay with me Yeah, GD, just like like I said, just send me challenge, challenges, whoever um, whoever wants to play. 
Um, it can one hit KO Zorark, that's for sure, but you really, really need to um, to evolve into it to get the knockout. So I don't know. It seems a bit underwhelming because of that. Seems just a little bit underwhelming because of that. Okay. Um, Hollywood 2DF, hello, thank you so much for um, watching my YouTube content. I'm glad you're able to catch an actual stream um, because, yeah, as, as, you, as I'm sure you've noticed, um, we um, I stopped making exclusive content for YouTube just because um, the platform doesn't feel as great as it used to be. Um, my PTCGO handle is demo underscore tailmon. I'll put it on the chat as well so you guys can add me. Um, Happy New Year to you guys, Pokemon and wife as well. Thanks so much for stopping by. It's very kind of you. And there we go. So we're up against GD. Um, we're gonna be using this Ponyta deck and I can showcase the deck afterwards. Um, and we're up against a water deck. So right off the bat, we're probably at a disadvantage, but hopefully this Ponyta strategy um, is able to come through for us. Okay. So good luck and have fun, yeah? Okay, so our deck looks like a Volcanion deck, but it's actually not a Volcanion deck. And we are going second, so I do want to bench both of these cards. Uh, you've been seeing Greninja's Zorark pop up at local cups. Um, uh, I generally don't think that's a great um, idea, honestly. Greninja with Zorark, I don't see much synergy there. Um, I mean, maybe it's fine, but I don't know. Do, do, do they run Starmie as well? I don't know. It seems like a complicated, complicated deck to pull off. Okay, so we can Brooklet heal immediately for one of the Volcanion EXs. As you can see guys, the strategy revolves around Ponyta and Victini. Um, Ponyta has the agility attack where we will be able to um, to increase the damage output with Volcanion EX, which is really nice. And wow, Pokemon and Wife, thank you so much for subscribing. That's so kind of you. Thank you so, so much for the support. Thank you so, so much. Welcome as a as a subscribers. Now you get to use the the tablemon emojis, which um, I feel like they're pretty cool. <laughs> but thank you, thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Um, everyone who's here, you guys should check out Pokemon and Wives um, YouTube channel because it's a really really cool channel. Um, I wasn't a big fan of uh, pack openings, but ever since they started doing it, um, I've really really enjoyed it. So thank you so much um, for the support. And okay, so we have a pretty good setup. We got the double steam up. We got agility here for a lot of damage and I get lucky with the head slip. Um, I want to save the ultra ball for the star me, although maybe I should have just gone for Victini, but in theory, uh, Ponyta should survive this turn, which is really cool, really, really cool. There, GD um, retreats into Lapras, uses Collect, so I could end. Although his hand is exactly six cards, so what I think I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna go after the Manaphy EX. Um, Sigurd, I'm playing um, a Pokedex deck, which is Ponyta, with um, Ponyta with Starmie, Victini, and um, with Starmie, Victini, and. Um, can't speak today. Starmie, Victini, and Volcanion EX. Yeah, so it's um, so it's an okay. It's a for fun deck, really. That's what it is. It's a for fun deck. Okay, so we have to. I can't knock out um, Manaphy. I'm actually ten damage short because Agility only deals ten damage. So because my Starmie is priced, which is kind of an issue. So. Okay, so if I get a fire with Instruct, that way I could knock out the Manaphy. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. 
hopefully instruct comes through or pulls through for us and we get another fire if we do that's gonna be so good oh there we go perfect okay so another steam up another steam up i'm gonna retreat and we also get a chance at being completely completely immune so we get a knockout and there's the head flip so ponyta cannot be touched here which is pretty cool there we get the two prizes no star meat just yet but we're in the lead against the water type deck um you've been on a break enjoying the holidays and uh, taking time to enjoy the pregnancy well that's always really nice um that that kid is very lucky for sure <laughs> that kid is one of the luckiest kids ever <laughs> um yeah so in the meantime guys um as you might have noticed we have a new sponsor tabletop village um you get 10 percent off on your first purchase if you guys want to check them out it would be really really cool and okay so lapras gx taking down our Vulcanian. But that's the first Kuzma, right? Um, GD did not use the GX attack because he can freely retreat pretty much between each of the each of the attackers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and find um, Volk. I have Kuzma, which could find me Zorua. But I feel like I need to get some damage in onto the Lapras here. Um, obviously, it doesn't really matter if I'm preventing damage if all GD is doing is um, targeting my Volcanian EXs. So I'm gonna end, but Zorark does make him a bit um, end proof, which is really good for him, of course. So I'm gonna touch a Choice Band, that way we are dealing a little bit of extra damage. Um, I don't think I need the other floatstone because if he uses Guzma, he's just gonna knock out my my attackers. So we still have eight fire energy left. We also have one energy retrieval, but we are at a little bit of a risk of just not being able to to deal enough damage here. Oh, and we struck for for triple pony attack here. So we're gonna agility for seventy damage. We flip tails. We would like to reflip. And there's a head slip. Okay, so Ponita is immune this turn. If GD does not have Guzma, we can actually defend ourselves here. And we get a turn of, of immunity. <laughs> nice hand indeed. <laughs> nice hand indeed. Okay, so there's a field blower. We lose the choice band, obviously not ideal, and the floatstone. And there's another Guzma, so second consecutive Guzma for GD. Um, is he going to collect? Probably not. No, he simply retreats and attacks. So yeah, um, we were always going to struggle against a Lapras GX deck. So okay. So do I want another Volk? I guess so. Um, well, we obviously can't get Volk. I feel like with the two stretchers, I can afford to discard the Ponitas here. Um, okay, so we get a steam up. And then we get to retreat. And so hopefully GD does not have another Kuzma. We flip tails, we would like to reflip. And we get tails again, so... Ugh. Now we lost all our ponytas, which is not great. <laughs> Lapras GX in 2018, indeed. That's fine, though. Okay. So there's the Aqua Patch. Um, GD can attack consecutively with a Ponyta. Um, yeah, there's really no chance for us here at this point in time. There's another field blower. Removes the stadium. Attaches the choice band. Plays an energy switch onto our brand new Lapras. And he goes for a Sycamore. So thinning out as much as possible. Just getting closer to the other Zoark. There we go. And another Guzma. 
so yeah our initial strategy of Ponita just ended up not being as effective against the huge HP Lapras's. Having the Starmie priced eventually just ended up not mattering too much really. Um, okay, so there's two rescue stretchers in our deck, so we really need those, right? So I'm gonna thin my deck as much as possible. Gonna lose the Kuzmas. Um, I guess I do bench the Victini. But yeah, um, I really doubt we're going to be able to have a good follow up here. We do end to one, but he also has access to Zorks. We don't find a. Um, we don't find a Ponita, so unfortunately, we're gonna have to concede this one. Um, but hey, the, the deck actually flowed pretty well, so we'll take that. Um, so thank you GD for the game, and then I'm gonna accept you guys who sent me friend requests, and then whoever wants to send another challenge, um, we can play with Ponyta. Just try to use a deck that maybe doesn't have such an, a huge advantage um, against my deck. Um, my my in-game name is demo underscore tablemon for whoever wants to wants to add me and yeah gg gd um so yeah whoever wants to send the um, whoever wants to send the the challenge feel free and then we can try to showcase this Ponita strategy just a little bit more, maybe in a more even match. Uh, just try to not use Greninja <laughs> against me, and that would be pretty cool. And yeah, Zoro Ninja. <laughs> what Zorak variant should I play for an Expanded Cup tomorrow? Pro I would say Night March. I think Night March is the, the best, um, or at least one of the best decks for Expanded. So, let me accept the, everyone else who's sending a friend request. So yeah guys, if you wanna challenge me, just send the challenge, there we go. There we have the next person, and then I'll accept the rest of you guys once I'm done with this game. Um, looks to be a fighting type deck, where Zorark is also a big, I'm mean not Zorark, Lycanroc is also a big problem for this deck. So yeah, we're just trying to have fun here. If we manage a win, I'll be pretty happy. Um, we get another good start once again. Another pretty good start once again. I'm actually gonna start lead star you in case something happens. That makes me change my mind, but we know the star is in priced, which is also pretty good. And star you should be safe here. Star you should be safe. Hello, Juan Clink. Thanks so much for being here. Okay, so Buzzwell is a big problem just because um, it deals damage to the bench and therefore it's gonna pressure my Staryu, it's gonna pressure my big teeny, it's gonna pressure other stuff. Um, we get end, that's fine. And yeah, we got an okay hand off of the end, so that makes me happy. We get the big teeny and Okay, so let's nest ball for Victini. That way we have the guaranteed, or not the guaranteed, the 75% chance at being immune. Jared Kerpan, thank you so much for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Thank you so, so much. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you so, so much. Welcome. Uh, we get to use the, the table one emojis, which I personally think look really cool. I don't know about you guys, but... I feel like they look really, really cool. So thank you and welcome. Thank you so much for for joining. And okay, so we get another pretty good hand. We actually have the pretty much perfect setup. The only thing missing would be a choice band, I think. Um, so I'm gonna steam up once again. We have this Starmie to evolve into Staryu next turn. We get Oranguru. We get to attach another Floatstone, which is pretty cool. 
and I don't want to ult trouble here, so I won't be able to find a choice vent this time around. But um, we flip tails. I would like to flip again, please. And we get heads. So Ponita is completely immune thanks to the agility attack. So yeah, Jared, thank you so much for subscribing. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much, guys, for the support. Since we're getting subscribers, um, I'm gonna try to make sure that we don't um, have as many ads during this during this live stream. Okay, so we see a Guzma. Um, the Guzma is actually a problem um, because Oranguru is gonna be stuck there for a little bit. Um, we also get our floatstones field blowered away, and yes, this is standard. Um, I say, say this is a standard, a standard deck. Um, what decks are you most looking forward to in Ultra Prism? Um, I think Glacian GX is gonna make a very big impact on the format. Um, Lithian GX also looks pretty nice, but I generally um, haven't. Um, I generally haven't taken such an in-depth look at the at the cards yet because oh I should have ultra old probably um, just because I I have to prepare for Dallas and I have to prepare for Oceana um, both tournaments do not use um, do not use the ultra prism cards so unfortunately I haven't been able to really take a look at them okay so we find a guzma so that means we can immediately attack here so i'm gonna go after the lele to try to force my opponent into needing an energy card um to retreat and then i can use star me to space beacon i have four energy so that's pretty good um because having volcanian as a backup attacker seems really really good um, so yeah, I'm gonna start powering up the Volk, and then we're gonna use Agility. That Choice Band is really, like, not having the Choice Band is really making a difference though. And we flip heads, so my opponent needs another Guzma in order to deal some damage to us. Um, he would be able to knock out Ponyta with another Guzma, he could get a double knockout, which obviously would be really good for him. Um, Rockruff was one of the Pokemon that I really wanted to target with um, with my Guzma, but yeah. Everyone gets a clean Sycamore. That must be very, very nice. And I probably need to spread the energy of the Volcanion EXs. And yeah, this deck is very trolly. <laughs> but we're just trying to complete the Pokedex. Um, if you guys don't know or haven't seen, um, I have a series on my channel. There's a whole playlist where you, which you can check out which is called TCG Pokedex. And so this new series is sponsored by um, Tabletop Village. Ooh, that hurts. Parallel City really hurts here. And we don't have... Oh, we actually don't have any way to combat that. Um, I feel like Victini is going to be the sacrificial lamb here. Oh. We only have one field lower and no more stadium, so we are actually in a lot of trouble. Okay, so let's team up. Yeah, the parallel city is gonna be so clutch for my opponent. I definitely did not take that into account. Um, okay, so do I attach to the Volcanion or do I just spread my energy? I feel like I spread the energy around. And then no choice band, so the Tabulele is going to survive yet another turn, and we flip tails. Um, we have a chance to recover from that, which is really nice, and my opponent has not set up Octillery yet. Uh, but yeah, I, Greninja with Zorark, a lot of people are trolling with that, um, with that deck. I don't think it's a serious deck. Um, it's people trolling online, <laughs> as far as I'm aware. So, um, And today is TCG Pokedex. So, which is brought to you by Tabletop, so we're not gonna focus on that for today at least. Okay, so the opponent finds the energy, retreats into Buzzle. Buzzle can touch Ponyta now. 
Um, that didn't sound very nice, but yeah. Buzzle can actually damage Ponyta. And we get back the, the float zone. Now we find a choice band, but we're actually missing the... Ooh. Azul played it because he was trolling. Um... Okay, I mean, if you guys have the the list, I can definitely try and use it. But I generally thought it was a troll deck. Okay. So yeah, guys, because this series isn't as um, straightforward or as um, competitive as the other one, it'd be cool if um, you guys also tried out rogue-ish decks. So that you don't crush me so badly. <laughs> that would be pretty nice. Okay, so I'm gonna space beacon. I might end up needing the old troll next turn. And maybe even the floatstone. So I guess getting rid of the Kuzma. Azul said it was better than Desisara. Okay. And hello Dan, thank you so much for being here. Okay, Starmie is really good guys. Okay, we really need a head flip here. Well, I guess the head flip here is not as impactful as it was the previous turn. But there we go, there's a head flip. So Ponyta is guaranteed to survive. You can see how Choice Band plus the double steam up is actually very, very um, important. Dan Saucedo, all you have to do is send me a friend request and then I'll add you. And then whoever um, sends me the challenge first, that's the person I play against. Okay, so there's the Octillery, and yeah, there's my username on the chat, demo underscore tailman. Octillery will probably give my opponent enough outs or enough cards to end up beating me, but no Guzma this turn could be really good for us if he doesn't find it. <laughs> Just as I say that, my opponent um, gets the Guzma, and I discarded my own Guzma. We have Volcanion as backup though, and that's our fourth um, float stone, which is really cool. Okay, so there's 40 and 30 to the Ponyta. Um, the beauty of this deck is all the float stones, and then we can... Okay, so we can steam up once, and then we can... Hmm. I think we stick a more here. We lose the Ponyta, but that's fine because we still have stretchers and we still have other Ponytas. Um, we steam up yet another time, or yet again rather, and then we also attach energy to the Volk, and then we retreat. We bring up Ponyta. I feel like we also space beacon the Victini just in case um, Starmie goes down. We still have an extra two energy. Um, and then we get to agility and tails. Ugh. Okay, so the tails is obviously not ideal, but we have three targets that we can potentially knock out. We have three potential targets right there. Um, energy on the Lycan Rock, which could be. Could end up being the most problematic Pokemon to deal with. Um, so Murphy, what is Tabletop's Pokedex? So it's a series where we're not going to be using decks that are um, that are that competitive. Um, so it'd be cool if you guys didn't use decks against me that were so competitive <laughs> or so meta. Um, we're trying to fill up the Pokedex, yeah? So if you've played the main Pokemon games, um, you know how Pokemon are ordered in different Pokedex um, order, right? So um, if you check out my YouTube channel, you can see the playlist of the, of the series where the last deck we used was a deck based around Alolan Golem GX. And then... 
No, not a lowland golem, GX. Just a lowland golem. And then the next Pokemon in the Pokedex is the Ponyta and Rapidash line. So that's why I'm using a Ponyta deck. And then after that, we have. Um, after that, we have um, the Slowpoke and Slowbro line. So we're going to be using a Slowpoke and Slowbro deck, etc. Yeah, so that's, um, that's the idea behind this series. Okay, so Lycanroc has 200 HP. And then we're dealing 130, 160. With the double steam up, we can take a knockout on this Lycanroc. Right? And then the only thing that threatens us is that Buzzwell, which we can presumably knock out with a Ponyta. And then I'm gonna play this card. I'm gonna get back the two energy. And in order to compete, all you need to do is add me to the um, add me on my PTCGO username, which is demo underscore tablemon. And then we can if you're the first person to send me a challenge, um, you'll be the person I end up um, playing against first. Okay, so there we go. There's the volcanic hit, 220 damage. We get an Ultra Ball and a Ponyta. Great, two really good cards to get off of our prize cards. And now Ponyta threatens. Um, the only thing that can return KO the Volcanion is that. Um, that puzzle, but we can actually use Ponyta to um, take down that um, that puzzle. So my opponent really needs to end me here. And yeah, that's that's the idea behind this series. And there's a whole playlist on my channel. If you guys like the idea and you wanna watch previous episodes, we started of course of course with Bulbasaur, then we did um, Squirtle, we did. Um, Charmander etc and we've been doing that like and some of the episodes have been pretty great um, I've had some really cool really cool and close encounters against a variety of decks um, I believe I ended up beating uh, Mega Mewtwo with an Arbok deck so yeah there's a lot of um, there's been a lot of cool um, cool things with the uh, with the series so if you guys are interested it'd be pretty cool um for you guys to follow the the series okay so i feel like we generally have a chance here well we probably don't actually <laughs> my opponent has a guzma he just knocks out my volcanian and he wins but i'm definitely gonna try i'm bringing i'm gonna bring it down to where it's only my opponent only has um two prize cards so, ooh, I did have a second field blower actually. <laughs> I generally didn't remember that. Um, the choice one probably doesn't matter. Does the stadium matter at all anymore? Um, does the stadium even matter? Would it be better to remove both floatstones? Um, I guess. Removing both floatstones feels a little bit better. Okay, so if I end here, my opponent still has a chance at getting Kuzma. If this is anything similar to my list or to Mahone's list, he should be playing for Kuzma. So I feel like in order to get closer to the choice band, which I need to take a knockout here, I should take a more and oof. Not getting a fire. Um, means we don't get to knock out the puzzle because we can only attach and then steam up once oh come on we were so close on taking down that puzzle um, well I guess we only had one fire left so odds were not in our favor for sure so I'm gonna space beacon away the maybe not the ponyta Maybe I can, maybe I still have a chance. A small one. No, probably not. Um, the end, I guess. And then there's two fires. Oh, that's so sad. We didn't get the fire to get the knockout on the puzzle. We are 20 damage short. I believe no 30 damage short we're dealing 40 plus 30 yeah we're 20 damage short okay so agility 
go up to 20 damage and we flip heads. Surely my opponent has Kuzma though. <laughs> so yeah, that wheel that was close means my opponent has the Kuzma, there we go. So all he needs to do is attack my Volcanion and he wins. Um, so yeah, we, we made it closer, right? <laughs> We made it closer, so yeah. Okay, so let's move on to the next deck, shall we? Because I unfortunately don't have too much time. So the next deck will be Mega Slowbro, okay? So if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching Ponyta. Um, you'll get to watch Slowbro tomorrow. If you're here with me on Twitch, 